If you look after two doses of vaccine and you wait at least three months, your protection goes down to about 30 to 40%. If you get that booster dose, in essence, a third dose, your protection against hospitalization jumps back up to what it had been, if not higher. So about 75 to 80 plus percent protection against infection and hospitalization. Notice I didn't say 100%. That's why we're still wearing masks. That's why we're still distancing. When we look at the latest data that just came out from London, so a context epidemiologically and, and socially, culturally, much like ours, unlike South Africa, for example, they are not seeing a decrease in hospitalization rates or severity of symptoms with Omicron. Their Omicron outbreak is ahead of ours. So we had better take that very seriously. When you take a virus that's much more transmissible and has an equal chance of causing hospitalization and severe symptoms, you're talking about a virus that has the capacity to cause a surge in hospitalization and deaths. And that underscores the, the uh, recommendation that you continue to wear masks, continue to distance, continue to sanitize your hands and get that booster dose of vaccine. Second thing you want to do is get a rapid test before you're going to gather with people that you have not immediately been around over the last week or so. Uh, the problem now is there's a surge demand on that as people waited to make appointments. If it's not possible to do that, I would give strong consideration, if possible, to holding your celebration outdoors, or if that's not possible, masking. I know that won't be popular, but if you say, our goal is to keep everybody safe, then it's boosters, rapid testing, and if you can't do those, masking.